America is a nation of immigrants who arrived with dreams of freedom and opportunity. The immigrants who came to Iowa from Sweden worked, worshipped, and learned with a perseverance that turned their dreams to reality, forging a society of Swedish Americans who helped to create what we know as Iowa's culture and values today. That heritage includes transforming Iowa's rich rolling grasslands to farmlands feeding America, growing in technology and knowledge to meet increasing production demands, ensuring opportunity for the spiritual development of the growing community, developing a style of living that maintains important values of the home, family, and community. The story of how the immigrants struggled, endured, and succeeded must be preserved so that it is remembered by older generations and communicated to younger generations of all Americans. The Swedish Heritage Museum of Swedesburg is dedicated to that task. Here in the heartland of rural Iowa, in the middle of a world that often seems rootless and ruthless, the Swedish American Museum provides for us a sense of identity with the ordinary people of the past, present, and future. Life in Sweden during the later 1800s was difficult. The common people faced a stifling caste system, heavy taxation, economic hardship, and repressive religious leadership. They saw little hope for change. Many of them many. joined the millions of other Northern Europeans in the 19th century who held the vision of America as a place of freedom from their difficulties where they would have an opportunity to realize their dreams. Leaving home and family for a new world and an unknown future was a frightening and arduous experience. Travel conditions allowed the immigrants to take only limited belongings. How does one retain a sense of identity while reducing a culture and a personal lifetime to the contents of one small trunk? The immigrants knew they would never again see their mothers and fathers, relatives and friends they were leaving behind in Sweden. The voyage across the ocean was filled with danger and discomfort. They lived in cramped quarters over the many weeks, even months, of the voyage. Illness was common, and many immigrants died at sea. One of these travelers, Frederica, after suffering many weeks of stormy seas, crowded living space, meager food and water supply, and even seeing loved ones grow sick and die, wrote after arrival, Finally we arrived at Castle Gardens in New York. Families were herded into the booths where they slept on the floor or hard benches. Outside of Castle Gardens, people were driven like cattle from one place to another. Many languages added to the confusion as orders were yelled that no one seemed to understand. How well I remember how we clung to our bundles and to each other, fearing we might get lost in this strange mob from all parts of the world. After landing in America, the goal of many goal. Swedish immigrants was to reach relatives in the new Sweden settlement. It was, it was a long, hard journey over the eastern mountains and rivers. Others made the journey through the Great Lakes and Chicago to reach Swedish settlements such as Andover and Biggsville in Illinois. The dream of owning their own land was uppermost in the hearts and minds of the immigrants, and the glowing reports from the earliest settlers helped many immigrants overcome hardships and discouragement to become landowners in America. In 1846, the new Sweden pioneer Peter Castle wrote to his friends in Sweden, The ease of making a living here, and the increasing prosperity of the farmers, year by year and day by day, exceeds anything we anticipated. If only half the work expended on the soil and the fatherland were utilized here, the yield would reach the wildest imagination. And in 1865, Mary Stevenson of New Sweden wrote to her family in Sweden, we live better than the people in Sweden, and we are not wanting in spiritual food. When I compare conditions with those in Sweden, we are very fortunate. We have good bread and wheat flour, and as much beef and pork as we desire for each meal. Soon the new Sweden-Iowa settlement in Jefferson County had grown to over 700 Swedish immigrants, and land that resembled the hills and forests of Sweden was hard to find. Through the efforts of Pastor Håkan Olsen and Charles Swanson of New Sweden, new lands for settlement were found in the north part of Henry County. The area had not been settled earlier because it was composed of marshes, swamp grass, buffalo wallows, and according to an early surveyor, only good for waterfowl. When Pastor Olsen saw the land, he knew the soil was good, and when drained through Swedish skill and patience, would produce good crops. 
In search of their own land and their dreams of the future, many early immigrants located were from New Sweden and over in Biggsville to an area in northern Henry County. Joined by immigrants directly from Sweden, they drained the marshy areas and formed the rich countryside and the community now known as Swedesburg. The heritage developed by Swedish Americans extends over all aspects of their lives. The worshiping, sharing community of the church was central to the lives of early immigrants. The church community twice saw fire destroy their church buildings and each time they rebuilt for a growing future. The strength of this church community remains significant throughout the area today. Museum exhibits present the story of this church community. The Swedish American heritage may be seen in the daily lives of the people. For the early immigrants, farming was a continuous struggle of plowing, planting, harvesting, and trusting. Also, a strong commitment to the family characterized the Swedish American community. They provided for the extended family, caring for the elderly, and drawing together with relatives in times of need. Descendants today continue to apply their heritage of determined hard work, resourcefulness, responsibility, and cheerful optimism to the profession of farming and to family life. This heritage is displayed in the buildings of the museum as well as its exhibits. The tinsmith shop in early Swedesburg found the owner applying his daily trade while his family's living quarters were provided upstairs. Today we commemorate the history of the huckster wagon merchants in the same building. Providing a valuable service to farm families in surrounding areas, huckster wagons traveled country routes loaded with provisions from their country stores. The country store provided the essentials for daily living for the early settlers. Groceries, hardware, mail and supplies of all kinds were available along with the camaraderie of friends and neighbors who shopped in the store. The Little Red Stuga, or cottage in the museum complex, serves to remind its visitors of the small rural houses typically seen in the countryside of Sweden. Foul and red paint from the copper mines of central Sweden provide the authenticity of the Stuga's color. Over its history, Sweden always has been among the most literate nations of the world. The Swedish settlers immediately established schools for instruction in language and citizenship. Space for the academy was prominent in the planning of Swedesburg. Today, this concern for education and continuing education characterizes the community. The Swedish American heritage includes a strong sense of community. The first residence often served as a stopping place and temporary home for arriving immigrants. The community accepted responsibility for the orphaned and for families who found themselves in poverty. Personal writings located in the museum library document the sense of community in the Swedesburg area. Many of the Swedish customs practiced by the early settlers have been retained in the Swedesburg community today. Swedish foods are often prepared by the Swedish Heritage Society for community events and for visiting tourists. Midsummer, the longest day of the year and a major holiday in Sweden, is celebrated complete with raising of the maypole by a selected Swedish heritage family, followed by music and dancing. Often the entertainment is provided by performers from Sweden. The colorful and dramatic Lucia ceremony ushers in the Christmas season in Swedesburg. These traditions, together with many examples of traditional Swedish music, literature, and folk customs, are represented in the museum. The Swedish Heritage Society was founded to help members of the community realize an identity through their heritage and to preserve that heritage for future generations. The Swedish American Museum was established by the Society to create a monument to their immigrant ancestors from Sweden and to immigrants from all nations who realized and are realizing their vision of a new life in America. With a hearty Valkomen, we welcome you to the Swedish American Museum. <laughs>